<clears throat> if you look out the window, you can see the sport plane that's out there. That's what they call it in the game. But uh, for me, uh, being in the aviation world a little bit, uh, it's similar to like a pits or a yak or something like that. So I'm going to take this thing out for a spin. I just got my license so I can free fly and take it out and enjoy it while you guys uh, <clears throat> take a look at this exciting airplane. So I spent all my money. Um, you know, like I said, there's a lot of great, great, great things about this. Right now, currently, I have an ultralight, a glider, and the Blade 350, which uh, they call the sport plane. So... Uh, I'm going to put my helmet on and free fly around the world. Um, don't mind the uh, landscape so much, but the actual aircraft itself and all the stuff's functional. Um, you know, and I do have it on simulator mode right now with uh, comfort mode completely off. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go fly around. You're cleared for takeoff. So this is our aircraft, right? You can see the two-wheeler structure. If I grab the yoke, look at this thing. Huh? Awesome, right? You got your flaps, your magneto switch, your fuel switch, and your start engine. So we're going to start it. And you got your, your prop controls over here, your throttle. Right now, magneto's on. We got some electric. We're gonna start this thing. I'm excited. So here we go. We're gonna take this thing out, cruise around with it. I got a full tank of fuel. And make sure my headset's on. <laughs> here we go. We're gonna power up. All right. I'm gonna nose it down. Getting a little bit of a bounce. I don't want to avoid that. Here we go. Come on, pull up, clear that tree. We got a glass four too. Something like similar you would see in a pits or an extra. So look at this. Absolutely beautiful. So we're gonna climb. We're gonna see what the ceiling is right now. I just want to climb. <clears throat> because it keeps calling us back to the airport every time uh, I hit about 2,000 feet or a little bit over it. So that's what I'm uh, going to try to see how much or how high the ceiling is before it starts to call us back. That way I know for the future. You got the dirty cockpit view. Right here you can see a little bit of dirt, a little bit of dirt over here. Some discoloration of the windscreen. Uh, right now, we're about 1,500 feet, <clears throat> about 80 knots in our climb. You can see on our tablet there, we're flying for about a minute, 15 seconds. All right, so we're about to hit the 2,000 feet mark, and uh, 2,000 feet. Here we go. And I don't hear it calling me back right now. So 2100, 2200, 2300, 2400. Stunt plane 245, okay. deviated too far off course. So, Please head back to Paradise Cove. Over 2400 feet is the. Uh, is the uh, the limit for this thing. So, you know, I'm gonna check the stall speed on this thing. I've, obviously, you have the airspeed indicator, which is gonna show us. Stunt it's plane about, two four five. You've deviated too far off course. Please we'll hold head up back on the nose. Pull cool. back on the yoke. See, what, see if we go into a flat spin or not. Here we go. And even with it all the way off, it's not really spinning on us. Looks like I'm going to have to, uh, going to pull up, keep the nose up. Stunt plane 245, 
Paradise Cove. Stall. Here's our stall. We didn't go on no flat spin. Shut up, tower. Shut the fuck up. God damn. You're ruining this whole shit. Nobody wants to hear your annoying ass voice. Alright. So we're gonna do an aileron roll here. So it wasn't perfect. So you're gonna nose up, start the roll. You're gonna push forward on the yoke so you can stay level. And there's our aileron roll. And get some maintain level flight here for a little bit. I'm gonna throttle down so I'm not burning as much fuel. Air speed. About 80 knots. And we're trying to do a loop. I don't know if I can. I'm gonna dive down a little bit. We'll start our descent, pick up air speed. I overspeeded. We're gonna try our loop here. Here we go. Roll, roll, roll. Here's our roll, our loop. Successful there. Pitching up on vertical. The hard rudder. Spin this thing around. Great little airplane, man. Totally excited about it. Look at our ailerons moving. We can speed out too fast. Oh, crash. There you go. That is what you do not want to do in real life. The Herald Times says it's a miracle. I survived. Alright, so either way, that's the sport plane in a nutshell. It's totally awesome. And uh, I'm just going to free fly with it for a little while. You are just because I like it. This is what I was saving up for. Rudder pedals working. A little bit forward on the yoke. Try not to get that bounce out of it. But we got the bounce one time. Like I said, the landscape is not that great, but the rest of the game is wonderful. And the clouds and the sky look great. The airplanes look great.
Alright, we're looking at the airspeed right now. I'm getting close to uh, flying slow right now. <clears throat> up a little bit. There you go. Let's see if we can get a stall out of it. Right there, our light came on. But it's warning us that we were about to stall. Here we go, getting a little bit of left wing. Wanted to roll. Just drop my nose back down. Pick our airspeed back up. This thing will stall about 50 uh, knots. You obviously want to be flying in the green. Maintaining about 200 feet. <coughs> Yeah, it's a great little uh, mini simulator until somebody uh, steps up and puts out something better than this. But I'm quite pleased with it. Uh, you know, I was hoping that War Thunder and shit would get their act together and realize that people want to play that game on fucking VR, but, you know, I guess these guys are retarded or some shit because they don't want to do it or whatever it is keep saying there's issues or whatever, I don't know, I don't believe any of it. They have the capability of doing it, they just don't want to. A little bit over a thousand feet right now. Give us some uh, So right there, 
after like two or three o'clock, there's a two o'clock. That's a little uh, airport, little runway. It's not really an airport; it's a runway that I can purchase. It's going to be one of the next ones that I buy. See that little bit of hesitation and that little bit of glitch that happens is uh, quite annoying. And, uh, my room is well lit, so I know I'm, uh, it's not on my side that the, that's occurring, it's more inside the game. Every time I turn my head right, you get that, not, not every time, almost. <sighs> you get that little glitch that is definitely an issue. Uh, but other than that, it looks phenomenal. If I use the flaps, you'll see here. Bring my airspeed down. I'll go 15 degree flaps. Look at our flaps are functioning. Go to 30 degrees. You can see I'm getting lift from it, slowing my airspeed down. Go to 45 degrees. Makes the plane a lot more stable under low power. Uh, definitely something you want to use for, uh, you know, bringing it in for a landing. Right there goes another airport. So there's two airports currently that I don't own and there's one more plane that I don't own and I'm gonna obviously continue to work forward. Uh, we'll work for that next airplane because I'm quite stoked about it. It's an old time piston banger. There goes a glider. There goes another glider. I'm about nine minutes into the flight. Uh, and I went to the furthest part in the island. We got about a quarter tank of fuel, a little bit over a quarter tank. So I'm going to throttle down a little bit more. And we're going to try to get over here to one of these other islands so we can refuel. So here's a little runway out here on this little tiny island off to our left here. So we're going to bank over. We're going to come in for a landing over here. Give it a little bit of flaps, 15 degrees. Let's start lining up with this thing. A little bit of rudder. So right now I'm a little bit more than half power. I start slowly backing down, but I'm gonna leave my hand on the throttle in case I gotta, you know, need a little bit more airspeed. I'm gonna see if I can land this thing. Well, I know I can land it, but it's gonna be how how good does it look? I don't know. We're gonna find out. Back 
kind of you. And refuel. Oh, I dropped my controller. You see the hand just spin around. Alright, so we're going to uh take off. And then we have fuel. See if I can get up of that tree. There we go. We're up. Nope, flaps off. fishing vessel there's an airplane over top of us Another airport over here. For nine o'clock. It's got two runways. See that water tower in the hangar? That's where that other runway is. There's a tower. <coughs> we'll fly by it for you. That's an ultra light up there to our right. We're gonna try to fly by it real quick. Watch our airspeed as we're. Yeah, it's definitely an ultra light. Alright, so we need to power up. There you go. You do not want to hit that, that peak there. ultralight aircraft that I was talking about before. That's also something else that's in the game. There we go. Get you a good view of it. I lost the yoke for a minute. I let go of the controller trigger and I let's go with a yoke so I started to lose it. A whole bunch of different style of boats, sailboats, all kinds of things. 
cool things to check out. The islands are all unique in their own way. Flying for about 17 minutes right now. We had to refuel once. So this is called Mount Thomas over here. Uh, in the game you will find out that the volcano is inactive during your gameplay. I'm trying to let you know it's safe to buy the airport over there. And uh got a whole bunch of caverns and stuff to fly through over on this end. There's actually two airports, one to roughly about our one o'clock is that little island over there with the uh, tower on it. That's one airport, and then there is a second one, which is built into the uh, side of the mountain at about our 12 o'clock, right off our nose. Thomas over here. You can see it's inactive, it's full of water. Sealed off. See, there's the airport. That island that we were looking at before. And then there's the other airport about our eleven o'clock. Right behind those trees built on the side of the uh, mountain. Comes out the other side as well. A little village on the back side there, all those caverns that I was talking about, little dunes. Pretty cool. Here's the top peak. You can see my altimeter. It's about 1,200 feet to the top. It's full of water. As you can see, if I bank real hard, there's the village. Right in front of us right now.
approach to the uh, <sighs> little run little runway built on the side of the cavern. It's pretty much non-realistic, but uh, some amazing pilots out there have seen do some crazy stuff. Thanks for walking in front of my camera, wherever you are. Here we go. Alright, so... Alright, we got touchdown. Up, oh, here we go. Stop. Oh man, I almost smashed into the wall. Well, either way guys, I appreciate everybody stopping by and supporting me. Make sure you like and subscribe at Rally Madness on YouTube. I uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, little... Uh, you know, representation of the sport plane and the uh, island itself. So, hope you have a great day. Happy holidays, and uh, I'll talk to you soon.